So we have a fabricated nine inch rear here that we're powder coating. We went down, we did a solvent wipe on it. We masked it off with some high temp tape, put in whatever plugs were needed into any threaded holes. And then we're gonna powder coat it in a semi-gloss black with the PCS 1000 powder system. So let's get this hung up on the rack. I'll show you how to set up the PCS 1000. Okay, we got the part in the oven pre-baking. Two reasons for that. One, drive out any moisture or contaminants, especially if it's a casting. And the second, we want to powder coat it about 100, 105 degrees, a little bit over room temperature. This helps with powder attraction. So while that's happening, let's set up the system. It's very easy. Turn it on. Set your KV to three. We're going to start with that. Once we start powder coating and you see you want a little more attraction, then we'll bump it up. Next thing, fluidizing the powder. We got about two pounds in the hopper here. What we're going to do, trigger the gun and our fluidizing air pressure. We're going to go ahead until we just get that rolling boil. There, you can see it there. So now that's set. Put our lid on. All the hoses are connected as per the instructions, very easy. So let's go ahead, move this out of the way. I'll bring the part into the uh, booth here. We'll start coating it. All right, the last thing we're gonna do now, set the gun air pressure. Very easy, turn the unit on, trigger the gun, slowly bring up air pressure until you get the desired powder flow you want. We're not worried about pressure settings on here, we're worried about the volume coming out of the gun. So once you have that set, you're ready to go. Okay, we're gonna be using the fogging nozzle to start with. So what we're gonna do is hit all of these troublesome areas, these corners here. Then we're gonna go ahead and put the other deflector on, shoot the majority of the part. Reason we're using it is because of these brackets on here, potential is for a Faraday cage effect to set up in the corners and even actually over the weld bead. Anywhere where you have that right angle in there, you can get this phenomenon, which actually is the powder not wanting to attract to the piece. What the nozzle does with its larger diameter is actually slow down the flow of powder, but still keeps the volume there. Once I hit all those Faraday areas, put the large conical nozzle on, Go ahead and cover the rest of the part. So here's the piece fresh out of the oven, and as you can see, it looks great. The Faraday areas that we had problems with covered nice. What you want to do with that is, as we showed, you go between the fogging nozzle and the conical nozzle. Keep your KV as low as you can. To make sure you get powder on the part. And if you want more information on the PCS 1000, visit eastwood.com. For more advanced tips and tricks, click the video link.